in Qatar uh, in different sections or in different sections. What I have to let you the end latest information that is coming from the Minister of Public Health is that those that have been confirmed of COVID-19 and have been quarantined for the last 14 days, the 14 days as per the Minister of Public Health are called sick leave days. And your employer has to pay a full salary for those 14 days. Likewise, the seven days where you have what you call health isolation. Health isolation, what do we mean by health isolation? We look at those days where you have to isolate yourself when you are feeling like you have signs of COVID-19. As per the ministry, those days are also called sick leave days. So guys, take it right. Let's say, for example, you felt uncomfortable. In, you feel uncomfortable on Monday. You feel like you have signs of corona. You'll have what you call a health isolation for the seven days. Those seven days, you will take what you call, the ministry officials will take what you call a PCR test or what you call a COVID-19 test. But when they realize that you are COVID-19 positive, or if they realize that you have COVID-19 or corona, you will have to quarantine yourself for the more 14 days. Meaning the seven days before, which are isolation days, plus the 14 days of quarantine, all those days are called sick leave days, as per the Ministry of Public Health. So guys, check that one out. So make sure as you leave the hospital or as you leave the quarantine center, wherever you will be, take that sick leave certificate that has those days spent because it is the same certificate that you'll have to give to your employer so that he can pay your full salary as per the information that is coming from the Ministry of Public Health. However, uh, the Ministry also stresses that uh, we, have, uh, we have two categories. We have two categories. We have what we call uh, the active infectious, then we have uh, the non-infectious. For the active infectious, we are looking at the active infectious, actually we are looking at a situation whereby you have the signs of COVID-19. The real signs of COVID-19, like you have fever, you have high fever, you have cough, you have short, shortness of breath, then you have um, difficulty to breathe. That means at that time you have corona, but still they will not, uh, still a PCR test will be taken to certify that you have corona. So you will go under what we call the quarantine, you will go to quarantine or you will be hospitalized or, or, or hospitalized uh, for quarantine for the 14 days until you get to recover. The ministry says, those days that the 14 days that the employer spends in the hospital are called sick leave and your employer should make should pay for those days so guys don't forget to get your certificate uh, health certificate paper when after you complete those uh, 14 after you complete those 14 days of isolation uh, we have two things that we need to understand, and that is what we call the infectious and the infectious. Remember, I told you that the infectious, the infectious, uh, the, uh, the infectious signs, uh, or the active infectious, we are looking at the real signs that are associated with corona, like, for example, high fever, cough, shortness of breath, then you'll also have what we call difficult to breathe. So that means the quarantine days you'll have will be 14 days until your recovery. 
Then we have the, what we call the nani, the non-infectious. The non-infectious is that you have the signs that look or that show like you have corona, but it's not corona. But how? Those signs can be verified by the medical team by taking your PCR test. But if they realize that you are negative or your PCR test report is negative, they will advise you to health isolate yourself for seven days to see if they can track more signs of COVID-19. So guys, I just want to remind you, Sila, I just want to let you know that still, even those seven days that you have to healthy isolate, they're called sick leave as per the Ministry of Public Health. And as per that time, as per that time, uh, that all employers who have health isolation or quarantine for the 14 days are entitled to a sick leave payment or a full payment of their salary. Okay. So we say uh, that um, uh, we say that uh, we, 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 we say that uh, look at an example that uh, for the infectious, uh, we look at for the infectious, uh, for the infectious signs. Uh, when you have corona, normally, normally you can, normally these are situations whereby you come into in touch with the person affected with corona uh, or when you, you, you tested and you call your COVID-19 positive. So that means they will have to quarantine you in the hospital or in a, in a quarantine center that is available by the Minister of Public Health. And if you have the non-infectious signs, then the Minister of Public Health says you can do what we call, uh, you can do what we call, you can do healthy isolation, whereby you can isolate yourself from uh, your home, provided you have that enough space that can enable you to isolate. So guys, don't, don't, don't forget that still all those days, provided you isolate yourself from home, you isolate yourself or you quarantine yourself from the hospital, or you isolate yourself from home, still all those days are, ca are counted as what we call the sick leave days, and you are entitled to full payment with that. But remember guys, for all this that we have to say, Still, we have to consider that we have to consider the precautionary measures, or we have to take into consideration the precautionary measures that are put in place by the Minister of Public Health for us, for the safety of our lives and for the safety of the people we work with all the time. Remember, don't forget to put on your mask wherever you have to move out in the crowds. You should put that one as one priority. Social distancing also is very important just the protection of you and me and to avoid getting into getting and uh, to avoid getting into touch with uh, either the affected person um, at a time. Uh, also the Minister of Public Health stresses that and says that all your extras should be on all the time. Uh, extras should be on all the time. It is because it is one tracker that will enable track in case you come into contact of uh, the affected or infected uh, persons. So, guys, let us take care of ourselves. Let us follow the guidelines that have been given by the Minister of Public Health for our safety, for my safety, and for the safety of people around. But remember, whenever you take those days, either the 14 days or the 7 days, remember to take the sick leave certificate. That is from the doctor. You have that the sick leave certificate that you'll have to present or the six uh, certificate that you have to present to your employer so that he can pay you your full salary or he can pay you your full money at the time. Guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Those that are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Share. Uh, tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe to my channel. My name is Max from the Max Creation TV. Uh,